Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about law of variable proportion. According to this law, as more and more unit of labor combined with fixed factor land, then initially marginal product of labor increase, but after certain time period it start declining, eventually becomes zero or negative. And marginal product of labor means a change in output by hiring one more unit of labor. For example, six labors are giving output equal to 50 and seven labors are giving output equal to 55. Change in output by hiring one more unit of labor is 55 minus 50 is equal to 5. This 5 will be called marginal product of this seventh labor. According to this law, as more and more unit of labor combined with fixed factor land, then initially marginal product of labor increase, but after certain time period, it start declining and eventually become zero or negative. For example, in order to complete utilization of this land, we need seven labors, but initially only two labors are working. That means this land is underutilized. But as we are hiring three, four, five, six, seven labor, our output is increasing. That means additional labor is giving us output. So we can say the marginal product of labor is increasing. But after hiring seventh labor, this land don't have any capacity because we need only seventh labor in order to fully utilization of this land. After seventh labor, this land, land has completely utilized. This land don't have any capacity. But we are still hiring 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th labor. Obviously, our output will reduce. Eventually, marginal product of labor will decline and become 0 or negative. Now, we will see table of this law. First column, we have a labor. Second column, we have total product of labor or we can say the output produced by labor. Third column, we have average product of labor, means uh, output produced by only one labor. And we can calculate average product of labor when we divide uh, total output by number of labor. Last column, we have marginal product and we have already discussed about marginal product. This law mainly divided into three stages. First stage will be called increasing return to variable factor. In this stage, marginal product is increasing because there is efficient utilization of our fixed factor land. Our land still have capacity. That's why marginal product of labor is increasing. And this stage will be called increasing return to variable factor. Here you can see our marginal product is continuous increasing. And you can see marginal product is more than our average product. But at the end of first stage, our marginal product become equal to average product. And second stage will be called decreasing return to variable factor. Now marginal product of labor start reducing because over utilization of our fixed factor land. Here you can see our marginal product has reduced eventually become equal to zero. And in last stage will be called negative return to variable factor. Here too much over utilization of our fixed factor land. That's why our marginal product become negative. Now we will see diagram of this slope. If we convert previous table into diagram, we will exactly get this same. Here you can see we have two diagrams. These two are connected with each other. On x-axis of both uh, diagram, we have labor, labor. On y-axis, this side we have total product of labor. And this side we have marginal product and average product of labor. This black color represents total product of labor. This green color represents average product of labor. And this red color represents marginal product of labor. Here you can see this diagram divided into three stages. First, second and third. During first stage, we are receiving increasing return to variable factor. During second stage, we are receiving diminishing return to variable factor. And last stage, we are receiving negative return to variable factor. During first stage, you can see total product increasing, marginal and average also increasing. But during first stage, you can see marginal product is above than the average product because there is efficient utilization of our fixed factor land. Our land have capacity. That's why as we are hiring labor, our output is increasing. Eventually, marginal product of labor is also increasing and become more than the average product of labor. But at the end of first stage, you can see marginal product become equal to average product. 
after that our second stage start it will be called decreasing return to variable factor here you can see our marginal product start reducing you can see marginal product is less than the average product because now over utilization of our fixed factor land that's why our marginal product start reducing at the end of second stage you can see our marginal product becomes zero at l2 point you can see our marginal product is zero after that our third stage will start it will be called negative return to variable factor there is a extreme over utilization of our uh, fixed factor land that's why additional labor are not giving uh, any output even our production is reducing because of additional labor that's why our marginal product become negative during the third stage so this is all about low variable proportion i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care